Hello Glenn, it's Caroline here and in this video I'm going to show you how to round off your corners in a photo or an image because you particularly asked how to do this. So this is a special video just for you. It's even more special because I've just made one video and realised that I hadn't plugged in the microphone so I had to start all over again. Such is the joys of making videos. Anyway, if you haven't fired up Inkscape, then I suggest you do that and then go to image and import the image or the photo that you want to import. And I'm going to look at one that I worked with earlier. And the default is to embed, which is what you want. Now that's a little bit weeny, so I'm going to increase the size of it proportionately to do that. Hold down the control key, grab hold of the corner and pull. Right, so next thing to do is to, in fact, we're going to copy this pattern into the Inkscape clipboard. And to do that, we'll go up to Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern. Just make sure, I mean, on this there is no fill or stroke, um, but if there was, say for example, a, a black line around it, an outline, you'd need to get rid of that. The quickest way to do that here is to right click and then remove stroke. Well, there isn't one, so we don't need to bother about that. So we now need to go up to the fill and stroke function, so click on there and click on the pattern as opposed to the linear gradient or the radial gradient. And then go over to the Edit Paths by Node tool, the Node tool in effect. And see this little cross here? We want to actually drag that over here so you can see what you were doing with the functions. And how it'll play around with this, because if you grab hold of the X there, you can see that moves from left to right, up and down. The circle is about rotation and the square is about squashing it up. I think we'll have a we'll have a bit of squash up actually because we might try and produce a bit of a pattern uh, with repeats. How about that? Uh, well personally I don't like that very much but you have to it'll play, it'll play around. That's it. Oops. Okay. So you can see there's a little bit of a repeat pattern there. You do whatever it is that you want to with your photo. And when you've got it right, just grab hold of this circle here and drag it down into whatever, you know, a very deep elliptic shape or a little bit, um, well, less, less rounded or more square, whatever. So that just rounds off the corners very nicely. Thank you. So that's how you do it. And if you want to save it, I'll quickly go through this file, export bitmap, file name. OK, go down to documents, put it wherever you want to put it. Uh, Macintosh uh, pattern, call it whatever you want to, save and then export. Now. As I say, if you want to save the pattern that you've created there, then what I suggest you would do is to go to File and Save. And that saves the master file in the SVG format. So the, when you come back into it to amend it or use it for something else, then it will be saved. OK, it's as quick and uh, straightforward as that, Glenn, and I hope that's helped you and answered your question. So that's all for now, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.